I'm Mary Rambin, and today on Burn 100, we're gonna use yoga to burn our 100 calories. Now I know yoga isn't something that you usually associate with burning calories, but we're gonna keep the flow moving so that your heart rate gets up and your muscles get really warm and really strong. So let's get started with what I call a yoga burpee. You're gonna come to the front of your mat. You're gonna take a nice deep inhale up. Exhale, come up to a flat back, reaching your head forward. And the knees come in, jumping back, jumping right forward. Up, and then you exhale, moving with your breath. You inhale, hands down. If you need a modification, you can use steps. Even that's a good option just to wake up the body. You don't have to go right into the jump, you know? I mean, it would be nice for you to say, hello, I'm here. Get ready to exercise, get ready to sweat, right? Whatever feels good for you. So when you get to the top, you're just gonna step back and go right into a crescent lunge, right? So your core is tight, you're pushing through that front heel. Now I have a tendency when I reach up, to really put a lot of stress in my shoulders. Relax your shoulders, pull your shoulder blades down your back and just focus on the energy in your front leg. All right, halfway through, we're gonna go ahead and switch. Really nice and easy. Now you can hear that my breath is picking up a little bit. That's because our heart is pumping, getting that body working. Calories are just flying away. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna transition. You're gonna spin that back foot flat, arms go out into a nice warrior two. Then we're gonna pull back into a reverse warrior and then into an extended angle. Okay, so it's just a flow here. You don't stop, you don't pause, you just keep moving with your breath. And as the flow goes, you can intensify the movement, bringing your hand down towards the ground. Then we're gonna come back into warrior two and switch around to the opposite side. So nice and steady, just keep the flow going. And as you feel your muscles warming up, go ahead and get deeper into that front leg. It's really gonna help build your strength and also tone up those thighs. And we'd be lying if we said we didn't care about that in our most zen moments. It's all right. So finally, we're gonna windmill our hands down step that leg back and go into what one of my favorite trainers calls building a bridge. Right here, from your elbows to your hands, make sure that your hands come back underneath your shoulders. Go ahead and switch up your hands every so often, just to even it out. You also don't wanna burn out your shoulders. So one more, and then we can either go into child's pose or if you're coming with me, right back into our yoga burpee. Inhale, flat back. You can step back even here if you need to catch your breath, right? But let's see if we can keep moving because it's when we get winded that we know we're doing it right, right? Otherwise you'd be sitting on the couch watching the Today Show or something. Let's not think about that. <laughs> so we'll take it down. We'll go for one more burpee. As we come up, we step that one foot back straight into our crescent lunge. Maybe this time we get a little bit lower. If we lose our balance, we slow down. Slowing down actually just intensifies your movement, right? Relaxing through the shoulders, tilting your hands back. Keeping it nice and strong throughout your core as you lower down. And we're gonna stand straight up and switch, right? The switching part can be tricky, but if you find a focal place on the wall and you know it's time to switch, it'll make it easier. And as you do it more and more, you'll get nice and fluid. So now we're gonna switch right into our warrior two, reverse warrior, side angle right back to that flow. This is just kind of where I lose myself, you know? Taking each breath, flowing through it, letting my hips feel the heat, and opening everything up. 
And I come back to the middle and I switch, reverse, down into that leg. If you need support for your back, I like to put my hand right there at my lower back so I make sure that I remember to stretch here and not tweak out my lower back, you know? Now let's go one last one and we cartwheel our hands down, right back to building our bridge, right? Now, you can put all of the focus on your arms or you can choose to use your entire body by firing up your quads. So right now, think about your quads, turn them on. Now, bring your focus to your glutes, squeeze them, and now you've got a total body cardio workout. Let's reset for our final set. Relaxing our shoulders one last time through. Take a deep breath in, pull your navel to your spine, reach out nice and long, walk your fingers to the end, and jump through it. Continuing that flow. Take your inhale, focus on your exhale as you jump back, jump in. Give yourself those last little spurts of energy right here, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't stop at the finish. Hold it here, go back for your crescent lunge, okay? Relaxing through the shoulders. I know I keep saying that, but it's my, it's my biggest thing. Like, I always reach up, I always do that. I really have to focus on just relaxing my upper body. Pulling my shoulder blades down. If it helps you, you can do this way, right? To relax. Go ahead and make your transition nice and easy. Nice. Now, if you have an Ujjayi practice, obviously we want you to use your Ujjayi practice, you know? Because those breaths just make you stronger. So right here, we're gonna flip into warrior two and then go ahead and reverse. Our final flow, take the time. Maybe you even close your eyes, right? And just kind of sink into it. Flowing through it. When you get tired, rest on your knee, and then you switch, reverse. Flow through, reverse. Remember, that knee is there to support you to keep moving, right? That's the objective. Not to feel defeated, but to feel stronger in these movements. To feel the strength growing every time you do it. And then you get to learn the flow and you can take it with you. This is the perfect beach workout because first of all, it's really fun on the beach. And second of all, nothing gets your body toned and looking better for a bathing suit than a yoga plank. Child's pose or yoga hop. Let's start the day. You're ready to go, your body is warm, your energy is up, your metabolism is raging. Take it on, have fun with it. For more tips and tricks, we're here at the Self Channel, and of course, more Burn 100 series. Please comment, let us know with hashtag Burn 100, and we'll see you for the next series. Have a great day, bye.